Good morning, hello, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video on the Peugeot body repair. So yesterday I managed to get the dent out of the outer seal. Uh, I welded the holes that I used the um, slide hammer with. Um, last night I ground on all the welds, I filled the uh, the seal as well, so today I'm going to um, sand down that, that body filler and then touch up bits that need to be done. It needs to be built up a little bit if we take a look down here. Whoa. So it's pretty good, it's pretty smooth, just here, maybe needs a little bit more, there's a bit of a lip there, but overall it's a much better, well a hell of a lot better than it was this time yesterday. So uh, I'm going to put another coat of filler over it. Um, it's going to be a very sort of thin layer as well, so it's going to be quite good. So let's get everything out of the way because I've got bikes and all sorts in there. And then get cracking. So uh, let's do this. <laughs> So as I said yesterday in the video, I am no bodywork expert. In fact, I've never really done bodywork before. So taking on this task has been a bit of a learning experience for myself. I have done the bit of welding um, and then a bit of body filler and sort of under seal. But to be honest, that's about it. Um, on the mini, uh, I did do a bit more, but that was only really spot welding in panels. And that's that's pretty straightforward. So. This is really actually trying to get the dents out and trying to get the panels perfect and um, yeah, like make it look like it's supposed to be there. So, a bit of a disclaimer, I'm not a professional. I am far from a professional. I am just learning and hopefully taking you guys along the journey as well. So, uh, yeah, don't give me too much hate, please. So, um, right, we've got a number of sandpapers. I've got 1,500 and 400 grit and 800. I've got 2,500 grit. The first layer I'm going to do, I'm going to use quite a coarse sandpaper to try and take away a lot of the roughness from the body filler. Uh, so I'm going to use this stuff here. It's a 400 grit. Uh, I could probably even go a little bit more coarse than that, but I just don't know what I've got. The 320 there. So I'll tell you what, I'll use the 320 to start. All I'm going to try and do is a light sanding of it because I don't want to go too much because I'm going to put some more filler on top of that. Um, it probably isn't the best way to do it, uh, but to try and get the car looking a bit more presentable, this is the way, ooh, gone yellow. This is the way we are going to be doing this. So um, let's get down here and, I don't know what's going on with this camera, I keep going yellow. Let's get down here and then let's crack on with this build. So um, let's do this. As you can see, that's the first coat of sanding done. Um, it looks a little bit ropey, if I'm honest, but it feels much smoother. So I'll put another coat over the top and try and flatten it out. This side here is probably the best bit of the lot. But yeah, I'll try and put another coat over and hopefully we can get this looking a lot more presentable by the end of the second pass. The one who loved me for who I can go back to coming to a bit of a halt because I need to go out now and get some paint. Um, typically you'd want to do this in a spray booth with spray guns etc. I haven't got that uh, luxury unfortunately so I'm going to head down to Halfords or Halfords as some people call it. Um, I'm going to get some primer, I'm going to get some um, top coat and I'm going to get some lacquer. So I've got the paint code, they're probably going to have to mix it up in the shop. Um, so I'll be watching them like a hawk. Um, to make sure obviously that the mix is right. Uh, it's not going to be 100%. I'm pretty happy with how the results are so far. I want to get a little bit more filler in a few places 
just where I've sanded and the bits that are like dropped out. Uh, that's possibly because I haven't left it long enough, but it's a beautiful day today and hopefully we can get that paint applied and set before the close of the day. Um, I've just given the car a wash, so that's hopefully going to get rid of any of the muck, the dirt, and everything, so, so that doesn't get sealed behind the paint. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to get the paint and stuff now. I'm going to get a sanding block as well, because I'm going to get it a little bit easier to make sure that's nice and flat. And I'm going to go for now, uh, the next stage is obviously going to be a finer grit, and then trying to like um, make it finer and finer and finer, so that when I do apply the paint, the, the scratches will be next to nothing. My heart breaks for you. Right, wasted trip that was. Uh, so they don't have the paint. They have to order it up. They used to be able to mix paints in store, but um, yeah, not anymore. So I'm going to now go to somewhere else. <laughs> Okay, so I've just been to the second place um, where they said, yeah, they can mix it up. They brought the information up onto the computer to use um, to create the uh, mixture. And some of the ingredients that required in this paint they didn't actually have, so um, they couldn't do it either. So um, Halford said they can order it and it'll be here ready for Wednesday. Uh, this place said that they not really interested or can't get hold of the parts so they can't do it i'm gonna to have to look online and see if i can find anywhere that provides the part uh, or the, the paint code uh, okay so it looks a bit of a mess at the moment however if you look closely or closer the gap in between the seal and the door is much better oh, looking back here that is a hell of a lot better than what it was before I'm just gonna sand it off Okay, so I've purchased this sanding block. Now the idea of this is to have the sandpaper wrapped around and you can get a nice smooth finish as you're trying to sand it off. Uh, I'll zoom in a little bit maybe. See this bit at the end of my finger just bulges down ever so slightly. So I'll make sure I go underneath that like this. Um, but I'm actually really happy with it. So yeah, really happy with how it's going so far. Um, the, oh, the bodywork itself it's not perfect, but again, I must stress, I am not a professional. I'm just doing this to try and make it look a bit more presentable. Um, and yeah, I think I've achieved what I've set out to do. The next stage really is just to try and prep it as best as possible. Uh, I'm gonna sand it, I'm gonna use a, um, I've got a 800 grit here. Then I'm gonna move it up and then eventually get to the 2500, and make it as smooth as possible, trying to get any chance of any sort of scratches coming through. Because the thing is that, the, I think this part here is the most critical, trying to get the sort of the finish to look good. It's never going to look perfect, and I do know it's never going to look perfect, but if I can get this sanded back and get it painted and it look respectable, then you know that's mission accomplished. So uh, I'll just leave that to dry, because I've just touched up the filler, just smoothed it out once and for all. There's a few patches where it just dipped in. And uh, yeah, I'm going to sand this down. I'm going to prep it up. I've got some um, paint wipes over here, and I'm going to so sand it down, paint wipe it, prep it, put the first coat of primer down. I'm going to mask up the door because obviously, as you can see, um, the door is actually off the car. Uh, that is down here. Now, in order to get to the area where the seal had raised, I had to take the door off to be able to hammer that down. And I'm really, really, really happy with how it's turned out. So, yeah, we plod on. Hopefully, it's going to look much better in a few minutes. When there's no hope loving for you who saw me before I knew who I'd be. What I have around me means nothing to me if I can't share it. So, good news, I've ordered the paint. Bad news, it won't be here till Wednesday, it's now Sunday. 
So uh, I've primed up the sill, I put a bit of under sill underneath, put the back door up again, and I take the car back so that my mother in law can have use of this until Wednesday when the paint turns up and I can take it back, take the door back off, paint the sills. I've ordered an aerosol, I think 400 millilitres of the correct paint code for this. And I've also ordered a touch up pen to do the bottom of the doors. So I'm really happy with how it's turned out. There are a few lumps and bumps which you could probably pick out on the camera. But overall, for a home repair job, of the panel was destroyed. I'm, I'm pretty happy. So I'm going to sign off here and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching as always. Please click that thumbs up button, please comment below and please subscribe to the channel to see more stuff like this. Take it easy. Bye.